All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard. Excuse a little bit of the dirt. I just got pulled out from underneath the duster that you guys will have to check out in just a little bit when we get her all put through the process. Uh, the car that's behind me right now is a 1973 Camaro, small block four-speed car. Uh, we're going to go and give you the full tour around the vehicle. We're going to take it for a ride, uh, or at least I believe Greg will take this one for a ride. Um, and then we're going to go and throw it up on the back hoist. We're going to give you all the ins and outs on what, you know, what this thing really is as far as engine, transmission, give you the bones of what's underneath the thing, and it does look good underneath it. Rear end ratios, the whole nine yards. So uh, listen to the small block. All right, guys, the front of this thing, of course, I mean, it's 73 Camaro. This is the second uh, body style for these things, and GM did a pretty good job designing it. I think it's a very attractive body style, and the paint on it's beautiful shape. It does have the black uh, racing stripes on it and my fingerprints on the hood there where I went to try to close that. You'll have to excuse that. Outside of that, the paint is completely gorgeous on this. Soft lighting, of course, shows off any imperfections that's here. Um, and, of course, you know, down the side here, we do have the Z28 badges on it. Uh, hood paint looks beautiful, doors look beautiful, all of our door gaps looks like they're in pretty good shape on this. I mean, you know, they look nice and even from front to back. I mean, and it does have the period correct rims on it, BF Goodrich radial TAs, not bias ply, so it actually does go in a straight line when you're driving down the road. Um, of course, you've got the attractive fin on the back, you've got uh, racing stripes continued back here as well. Uh, and uh, one of the big things for these cars for me is I think they have a very attractive rear end on these things. <laughs> And it does have, uh, you know, of course, all the lights on this thing work. We always go through them here at Vanguard. You can see that the wheel wells are in great shape. Something, of course, you're probably going to see this in the undercarriage video, but something we always, you know, make sure all this is in really good shape. There's no, this is where they would always rust out. And you'd see the big rust bubble coming up through here on these. It's in great shape on this thing. I don't even feel pitting under here. Look, you can still see all the definition on the, on like all the spot welds where these two pieces of metal were uh, pinched together and spot welded back in 1972, 1973. Uh, this thing is in, in exceptional shape. Um, I mean, coming around to this side, you can see the paint's in wonderful shape over here as well. It's got all the trim on it. I mean, uh, it's, it's a pretty attractive car. And uh, that all being said, we're going to go check out the interior and I'll show you the inside of the trunk. And then we get for, to get to do the real fun thing is go out and drive it. All right, guys, as far as interiors go on this thing, I do like the fact that it's got red carpet and black. Uh, you know, the rest of the interior is black. It actually kind of sets it off a little bit. At least I like it. Um, that all being said, the carpet looks like it's in fairly decent shape. It does look like it's have a few, had a few miles put on it since the car's uh, been restored, but it does look like it's in, in decent shape. And we can look up underneath the dashboard there. It looks relatively stock, not too bad. Um, you can see here that the door panels are in excellent shape. The door jams are in excellent shape. The sill panels, uh, you know, it's not too dented up or anything like that. It does look to be original, but, you know, it, it has been saved from most of the wear and tear. I would like to point out we do have a functional interior light on these. That's always a big thing for me. That's one of the first things to quit working on these cars. And uh, it still works, which means that, uh, you know, people didn't let it get away, you know, when uh, things start to go wrong on them. You know, as long as they keep fixing them, they stay nice cars. And this one looks like it has a has stayed nice. Um, also, I'd like to point out the uh, headliner's in excellent shape. Interior looks just great. The seats, you know, all of it being said, is in really good shape. This has all probably been reupholstered. It would surprise me greatly to see that all this stuff has survived in this well of shape uh, over the years. Dashboard looks to be completely stock. Um, does have a tilt wheel in it, a four-speed knob there. Um, outside of that, it's pretty darn nice. Let's go check out the passenger side. All right, something else I'd like to point out. It does have functional locks on the thing. Open the door up. Of course, you got everything on this side is in excellent shape as well. Everything pretty much the same as the uh, the driver's side. I believe you do have a tape deck in there. You do indeed. You do have a tape deck uh, for a uh, radio, which is very very 80s. Uh, something else I'd like to point out too: the undersides of the doors this is something I always like to check. I'm a big uh, uh, person as far as when it comes to rust and stuff like that. Beautiful under here. I mean, you can still it, they they clear coat at the bottom of this door, so I mean it's nice and smooth, and you clear coat keeps uh, dirt and stuff like that off of it, keeps it from rusting. All good things that I like to see. Dash pads in excellent shape. Um, of course, this door switch works just as uh, well as the driver's side does. So you do have interior lights on both sides. Um, outside of that, that's that's just about it for this one. We'll have to show you the trunk now. All right, guys. As far as the trunk goes, 
Lock works excellent. You do have the uh, Space Saver spare tire back here. Um, of course, you got a, it looks like a brand new trunk mat in the thing. Something else I always like to show you guys. If I can get this thing up without tearing the wiring out. The trunk is extremely solid on this. A lot of the time these are really messed up. There's really not even, even pitting in here, which uh, tells me that this trunk seal has never at any point leaked really bad, which is obviously a really good thing. Um, of course, it looks the same on the other side. All the wiring looks like it's in pretty good shape, you know, I mean, as far as, you know, your tail light wiring harness and all that stuff. So we get that to lay down in there. Um, pretty nice car overall, guys. I'd also like to point out this, of course, has been replaced, which is another reason why this is in such good shape. Um, all of this water always likes to sit down in these areas down in here, and it's very common for this, these two spots to be really bad on these. It's in excellent shape. Same thing with the underside of the deck lid. It's in excellent shape. They even decided to put the jacking instructions on there, just like it would be from the factory. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this car. Uh, I guess this all being said, we're going to go and take it for a little cruise, see how it drives. All right, let's go for a ride in our 73Z. What a sweet ride this is. I tell you what, when I was a kid, I'd have died to have one of these. This was a good quality used car when I was in high school, baby. I had a uh, 67 Cougar. Mine was kind of worn out. It needed a little work, but you know what? That's how I learned to be a mechanic, working on my old Cougar. I tell you, I'd have died to have this car. This thing is sweet, man. What a beautiful ride it is. And I tell you, she feels like a Z2. She's handling like it, going around these curves, nice and tight. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this Z anywhere in the world. You give us a call at 248-974-9513. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So call him anytime and he'll tell you all about this beautiful car. Now down here on the dash, we've got the Speedo, the TAC, um, all the other gauges you need. Uh, it's got an aftermarket radio in it, and of course it's a four speed and it's a blast to drive. And look at the reflection on that hood. Look at that paint shine. This is an amazing car, guys. So give Tom a call. If you need a little help with financing, no problem whatsoever. We've got two banks we work with on financing. 15, 20 minute phone call with the banker, and this dream is in your drive. And please, if you'd like to check it out or come visit, come on down and visit. We love to have visitors. We sell about 95% of our cars sight unseen, so very rarely do we ever get to meet our customers. So we love it when you come out and visit. Tommy's at the airport right now picking up a guy coming out to check out a car. So please, come on out. We'd love to meet you. And hey, if you see one of us at a car show or something, Come on up and see us. We'd love to talk to you. We love meeting our customers. And listen to this baby go. It's got stock exhaust, so it's got just enough rumble to sound tough. Like I said, she handles like she's on rails. The steering feels good. Uh, the steering wheel's a little crooked here. We're gonna make sure that's nice and straight. We got a brand new electronic laser hunter uh, alignment machine that'll take care of that. No problem whatsoever. So call Tom at 248-974-9513. Now stick with us because we're gonna put this up on the lift and we're gonna check out the underside and we're gonna take a look under the hood what's making the power. All right, we're underneath this 73Z now and I tell you what, Probably one of the nicest 73 Z's in the country. Beautiful under here. You can see the gas tank looks brand new. Exhaust system looks brand new. We got right around a 373 gear in here. It does have a posi in it. It is a 10 bolt. You see some of the paint markings on here. It does have a sway bar. The frame is beautiful. You can see the lines are all brand new. The vapor lines, the fuel line, the brake line. Uh, looks like the parking brake cables are new. We've got all the little X's here. We've got a 14 there. And look at these floorboards. Floorboards look like they're brand spanking new. The pinch weld looks good. The bottom side of the rockers look good. I see numbers stamped on the bottom side of the rocker. 
The bushings look good. The frame's all painted. We got heat shields here on the bottoms of the floorboard. Numbers matching M20 trans. The cast bell housing looks correct. Numbers matching motor up front. All the bushings look good up here. It's got disc brakes up front. Now in the back, we do have drum brakes and the guys will pull those all apart, make sure they're in good working order. Uh, you see all the paint marks up here on the uh, steering gear box. Uh, the guys will check out all the steering gear. Uh, the big sway bar in the front looks good. Core support looks good. Chin spoiler looks great. I mean, and it's an amazing car, guys. I tell you what, I'd be proud to put a mirror underneath this baby going to any car show. Now let's look at wheels and tires. All right, up front here, we got the original wheels. Uh, she did have the original tires on her too, those poly glasses and, you know, they just, the car didn't drive worth the shit with them. So we put a set of brand new BFGs on there. Um, if you'd like to buy some poly glass tires and put them on there, that's your prerogative. Personally, I'd rather a car drive nice. Let's check the rear back there. Let's see up front, we've got, um, 225 60 15s. I bet we got more rubber in the back. All right, out back here, we do have some more rubber. We got 245 60 15s. The wheel lips look great there. Nice, all I feel there is metal on metal. Look at those rockers, beautiful. Look at the paintwork, even on the bottom side of the rocker, beautiful. Spring pockets look good. We got paint marks on the bolts. Man, she's beautiful. Let's get under the hood. All right, check it out under the hood, guys. I tell you what, I'd be proud to pop the hood of this baby at any car show. Numbers matching, 350 under the hood. Exhaust manifolds look correct. They've got chalk marks on the firewall. The firewall's nice and clean. Everything about this thing under the hood looks great. Um, the bushings look good in the upper control arms. Power brakes, power steering. Everything about it is amazing under here. It looks like it's got a brand new uh, Delco battery in it, cross flow radiator, GM hoses, uh, the correct hose clamps. Just everything under here is amazing. Look at the paintwork right here on, on the inside of the hood. We've got a brand new uh, piece of fiberglass there on the bottom side of the hood. The bottom side of the hood paint looks good. I mean, she is an amazing car, guys. Give us a call at 248-974. 9513 and my Vanguard Motor Sales Park this stream in your driveway.